Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the Rico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, I am in between my sets of running. Uh, there's a full moon behind me somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, happy mid, uh, mid autumn festival. Yeah, so uh, all right, let's get to it. <laughs> Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button. Hit, I mean, I actually, I forgot. I I said it, I, I recorded the intro. So still hit the like button again. Hit the subscribe button again. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Unless hitting it again toggles it off, then don't hit it again. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I mean, I know this is day 18's video, but uh, hopefully, you know, uh, you enjoyed, or uh, if you celebrate Mid-Autumn Festival, uh, mm -hmm. Then, you know, well, happy mid autumn festival. I have my very own um, uh, little, uh, whatchamacallit, moon cake here uh, from Chinatown. It's a little cute container. I'll eat it afterwards because I don't know. Who wants to watch Larry eat for like, I don't know, actually, it'll probably be like two bites, but nonetheless, uh, so it's very cute. It's a little cute little thing and a little thing in the Chinatown. I don't know. I get very excited about food <laughs> this is why I, I need to work out more but in any case all right let's take a look at today's farm today's uh farm is 179 largest number i did actually you know i, I did the extra farm earlier because I, today i was running 11 miles and i did one my 11 miles which is actually yeah you saw you know me outside uh so yeah so i don't know i'm a little bit tired but i also ate a lot uh, uh, right before this video, so I'm excited. Uh, we'll see if that energy carries, but for now, let's get to it. 179, largest number. Given a list of non-negative number, uh, non-negative integers nums, arrange them such that they form the largest number and return it. Since the result may be very large, you need to return a string instead of integer. Okay, so you have all these things and you have all these things, right? Um, I mean, I think the, the <clears throat> um, this is gonna be greedy and sorting. Um, but not necessarily in the way that you think it is, right? So, I mean, uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, and the idea is based off this concept of transitive property, right? Um, or, yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as the transitive property holds, um, meaning, or, or maybe another way to think, to, uh, sorry, my term, I'm like throwing a lot of terminology, but another thing is uh, strict ordering, or not even strict ordering, just ordering, right? Uh, what's it called? Hmm, maybe I'm getting my terminology wrong. I mean, look, everything is live, so sometimes I'm going to get some stuff wrong. But the idea is that basically, if A is less than B, B is less than C, A is less than C, right? So it's kind of like transitive property, but it basically, it holds and, and it imposes an ordering, right? Um, and the greedy, so that, that's the sorting part that we can figure out. And the greedy part is, um, might not be greedy in the sense that, okay, well, Larry thinks it's greedy, so maybe we just take the nines and all these things, which is partially right, but you're going to get some stuff that's a little bit wrong um, because, well, numbers have different digits, right? So how do you kind of resolve them? How do you figure out, like, okay, what, how do you compare 98 and a 9, right? Well, it turns out that you wouldn't put the 98 first, you put the 99 first. But the way to think about it is um, a really basic exchange argument, right? So we want to compare no the number 9 and the 98. Well, in this case, if we say that 9 is smaller than 98, meaning that a 9 comes before 98, then this is what we have as the, the result of our function. If if we say that 98 comes before 9, then we have 989 as the function. Well, which one is larger? Well, yeah, uh, in this case, we want the, um, the number that gives us the larger result in the front, right? So that means that 9 will be put in front in, because 998 is in a greedy way, um, you know, earlier, right? And it turns out that, and you can play around with this, but you can, it turns out that in this uh, ordering, um, it is... Uh, yeah, it's transitive and uh, there are uh, strict ordering and all these things. So, or, and it's stable and all these things, right? So, yeah, um, that's basically the idea. And yeah, no, and the, the only end things. So, yeah, so you can, imp so, yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think about how to explain this. So in, in Python, 
unlike in C++ and I think even Java. So in, in C++ and Java, what I said, um, you know, this, this thing, you can actually implement this function directly. In Python, it's actually a little bit um, more involved to implement this because basically you have to do this thing called compare to key or something, right? Um, and, and it's actually a very, um, Yeah, and it's actually, you know, so, eh, sorry that I'm like kind of, I'm, lo I'm reading some documentations because I'm trying to think about how to explain it in a correct way. But basically, um, if you, if you, um, you know, you think about the sorting API, you have sort, and then sometimes you may even do a key as you go to some Lambda function. And basically the, the key for this Lambda is that, or the Lambda for this key is that for every x that is in this array, you do a transformation on um, on this thing, and then you sort by this function that you know. Um, how, however, so you, so there's no um, uh, uh, com you can't do a compare to directly. So what you can do is use in func tools. There's this function called compare to key, and basically the idea is that, yeah, you, well, yeah, and then you just basically wrap it around your compared function, right? So, yeah, it, it's kind of a little bit wonky. I don't know how, um, it's, it's kind of for performance reasons um, why you can't do it, but I don't, I, I don't want to get into it right now. I think I'm just trying to think about it. But anyway, here we want to return a negative number if a is less than b is zero if a is equal to b and positive number if a is greater than b right so then now we we can kind of do it however you like i mean um the way that i would because we're, we're not comparing that many numbers there's not going to be that many comparisons i'm just going to be a little bit lazy and do exactly what we said which is that okay we can convert a uh, we convert it to this, and then now we just return um, so int of sb. Oh, S, I said sb, but I type as sa, right? Because basically now, if sb is bigger than sa, and they should have the same digit, right? Because we're just doing a string concat. Oh, actually, I I, I lied because I didn't do the actual concat part. Uh, <laughs> Right, uh, but yeah, so SB plus SA means that B is in front, right? But if this is bigger, then we go the other way, I think. I think this is right, but yeah. If not, then we just swap the other way. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but you can actually reason it out, right? Because basically, we have this thing that we have to fulfill. So if A is less than, or in other words, it's not A is less than B, even though I know I keep saying it, it's A coming before B in the in the ordering, right? If A comes before B is if the um, A plus B is bigger than this, meaning if this is bigger than this, um, then we want a negative number. So that's why we have it like this, right? So now we sort it. After we sorting it, we can just do something like uh, we join it all together. Uh, but we have to convert them to x, so maybe we just do like a map string nums or something, right? I think that's it. <clears throat> uh, if we had correct number of like parents, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, let's give it a quick submit. I, I'm just uh, I paused a second just to kind of think about leading zeros, but I don't think there are any leading zeros, anything like that. So I think we're good. Let's give it a quick submit. I got a wrong answer last time, and I was going to uh, I hate you. <laughs> uh, and I, the funny thing, I mean, the funny thing is that I was like, oh, there shouldn't be no leading zero issues. And then, you know, I mean, this is such a easy fix, but um, I mean, you, you could write, you could actually just, you know, trim it as well. But, uh, but, uh, okay, fine. I hate you. <laughs>
Uh, there you go. I mean, this is probably like the, the lazy way of doing it and not super efficient, but also not that inefficient because it's linear in the size of the output, right? Because, you know, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Did I get the wrong answer last time? Yeah, I did. Oh, no, no, no. I just, last time I just kind of did it weirdly. Hmm. I don't know how, how I got this wrong last time, actually. But what was my code last time? I guess this is my code. I probably just did... What was the difference what I did last time? I thought I would have made the same mistake, but apparently I made... Oh, just leading zeros? But leading zeros... That wasn't anywhere close, leading zeros or not. Hmm. Maybe it is the same then. I don't know. That's weird. Why would I give zero zero? I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand anything anymore. But uh, but yeah. I mean, but this one though, that's all we have. I mean, this is sorting, right? So then this is gonna be n log n. Um, technically. It's actually kind of a little bit more complicated than that. It's in a, again in sorting, but you know it also depends on the number of comparison, right? But each number is only going to be compared log n time. Um, so then, and each log it's kind of like all on the order of bits, which is kind of in this case maybe we could say is a constant. So maybe it's still n log n, but uh, but you have to be careful a little bit. I don't know. I made the same mistake twice. I, it turns out, but I, I don't. Mm, I don't know. But uh, but yeah uh that's all i have for today that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching uh yeah i'll see you out uh yeah i don't know thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see you out later and take care bye bye